G'day guys, how are you? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can make a download manager or sort of download file thingamajiggy without using the my.computer.download file method. So let's get into it. Sorry about the noise, I'm recording this video outside I'm on my balcony. So let's get into it. So I'm going to get a new project. Some Australian wildlife sounds there for you if you can hear them. And I'm just going to name it down, downloader, just in this video. Now you can use the mind or computer method, but I like this method because you can actually see like a task, uh, a progress bar, and you can see the state of it. Now I'm sure you can do it the other way with mind or computer download, but this is just a quick method here for those that are starting out. So first off, we're going to need two text boxes. One of these text boxes will be our files location, and the other one here will be what we're going to name our file. So I'll make that one a bit smaller. And now we're also going to need a button. Just like that. You guys can make it pretty in your own time, but just for the video. And so it's not you know, too long. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Alright, so this is our interface. Just quickly change this one to download. And um, just so you guys know, um, <coughs> just right in here, download link. And I'll write here for those that are standing out file, file name, e.g., file.exe. Okay, so you've always got to put the extension at the end of it. Okay, so let's begin. So I'm going to double click on download. This is our button, one click, and straight off the bat I'm going to go um, above here, above public, to go import system, system.net. You've got to do that straight off the bat. After that I'm going to come down here to private sub, and I'm going to add a private event. Um, I'll show you a private. <coughs> private with events and now I'm going to write um, HTTP client as my web client. Now web client wouldn't pop up but because we put in here system.net web client is now there. Now the reason why I'm adding it this way is this is what's going to help us get our task, uh, sorry our progress bar to show you know the status and download and all the rest of it. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to go HTTP client equals new web client because we've already got web client as our old HTTP so we're going to potentially have two web clients here but you don't have to worry about that. Next what we're going to do is we're going to declare some variables so dim um, I'm going to write download oops, download as string equals text box one because we're getting that information from the first text box. Dim I'll just call it save as string now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so if you were to run this application on someone else's computer, it's going to work. So instead of writing in say my details, which would be user dash uh, sorry C drive users and then Andrew, on say Jim's computer, it's obviously going to be Jim. And most likely, if someone else has done the computer for you, it could be just user or owner or something like that. So a way we can get around this way is I'm going to declare another variable dim, I'm just going to write user as um, environment, was it? Uh, sorry, equals I can't spell today, environment dot username and what this does is it's going to put in the user's name rather than what I'm going to type in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do and user and and don't forget the forward slash because it's going to continue on. So picture that in there. It's saying Andrew. Downloads dash and then because we've already said that our text box two is just going to be the file name, we're just going to run your text box two dot text. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to write a little comment here for you guys. So for example, file.exe. It's very important you put an exe or png or whatever the file is uh, type 
extension is that you're downloading. Um, of course, if you were to download it and use the wrong extension, you could go into the File Explorer and change the extension to the suitable one. Okay, so now that's done. What we're going to do now is we want to add a try event. And what a try event is is basically if something fails, uh, instead of the program crashing, it's going to you know do what we're going to tell it to do. So you'll be able to see in a second. So try. What we're going to type in now is HTTP client dot file uh, download file async, and we're going to use some brackets. And just like it says here, new URI brackets. And now it's asking for like where are you going to get it from? And we've already said that our text plus one is going to be our files location. So download. And now it's asking, hey, well, where are you going to save it to? So just like I've said before, I'm going to put it in my save. And there we go. So that's um that's basically it for downloading the file. But let's say hey the internet isn't working or the files download address is incorrect. Well, that's cool. So we can add a message box here dot show and rather than me writing uh, a particular like say please check your internet connection because it could be two things so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write here x dot message and what this does is it, it's going to actually show the user the exact error and I'm just going to add a quick heading here so let's information in information yeah and now what I could even do is I could write text box one dot text equals and then I could what was it? Download link. Download link text box to the text. Use the file name. There's people walking past right now probably see me very strangely. Great, so that's what our try is. So what's going to happen is it's going to try and do this, but if it fails, uh, it's going to come to this um, this next line of code here, and yeah, it's going to take it from there. Great, so that's pretty much it for the download. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to show the progress bar to do something. Now usually you could use a timer for a progress bar, but right now you do not have to. So I'm going to go to not progress bar with all that talk of progress bars. I clicked on it. HTTP client, and we're going to go to um, download progress changed. So now what we're going to do, I'll probably get this wrong, let's try the back because I've just decided to make this video just now, so um, it'd be something like progress bar 1 dot uh, maximum equals E, because it's uh, born um, right to receive I suppose. And uh, progress by one dot value equals e mm, bytes received. I'm sure that's right. If it's not right, we can fix it. There's so much noise out here. I'm very sorry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an if statement. So if progress by one dot value equals progress by one dot maximum, then progress by one dot value. nothing because we don't want the progress bar to remain green once we've downloaded the file um, also we want the text box one dot text to equal because it's going to have the, fi the files link in there still so we just go here download link which is what we have before text box two dot text equals file name eg And um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's pretty much it. Another thing you could do is once it is trying to do this and it is downloading, we could do text box one because if that person changes that value, then it's, it's going to fail. So text box one dot read only equals true. Text box two dot read only equals true. And let's disable the button so um, if the person clicks on it again, then it's yeah, I'm not going to make it fail. Once it's completed, once again, we're going to do the opposite. So, God, uh, what is it? Read only equals false. <coughs> Textbooks 2. Dot read only equals 
controls and button one dot enabled equals true and yeah that's basically it um, another thing we could do I suppose before we get into it let me think of something because there's always there's always something you can do you know the sky's the limit when it comes to coding um, and though I think this is good to go now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly get a file so I'll just download VLC or something like that because I know that's a direct link VLC download Let's see if it works just give me that link yeah I downloaded this the other day so we'll just go copy link address right let's start our program up now it's not the greatest looking program but at least you guys will be able to understand what's happening so download link will be this one it's got the dot exe at the end so that's good um, oh you can click on that and make it delete itself but anyways vlc dot exe and download there we go it's downloading and uh, once it's done it'll be in my downloads now if I was to close this program I suppose it will keep downloading because yeah I haven't said otherwise so what I need to do is um, see if the user closes out of it it's still going to continue to download and we don't want that so um, I'm going to go to my events and go to low uh, closing and I'm just going to write http client dot um, cancel the sync yeah, so when the program's closing, it's going to also close the HTTP uh, client. Um, and like I just said before, another thing we can do is when we click on those text boxes, text box 1, if I'm going to click on it, it's going to remove that text, just to make things a bit easier for the user. And I can't see click. Oh, there it is. Text box text equals nothing. So this is good, so when the user clicks on it, rather than have that text and then they have to delete it, it's just going to go away by itself. Textbox2.txt .text equals nothing. Cool, so within less than 50 lines of code, we've created a downloader. So once again, vlc.exe, it'll download. Now if you want to get a percentage thing there, like the name itself, yeah, failed, see, because there's nothing in the downloading. So right there, because it has failed, um, let me just write try http client dot close sync if it does happen to fail because nothing is closing just end the program anyways cool now what we can do is um, if we want to show a percentage on top me dot text equals I'm just going to write downloader and uh, or downloading I suppose you can just do whatever you want really and e dot bytes received and my little percentage sign I suppose I guess that's the right one I'm not too sure uh, vlc dot exe and that's not the right one bytes received that looks a bit crazy Maybe bytes progress percentage that might be better off so once again oops I'll see the exe and yeah they're lining 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so forth now do trust me this is actually downloading um, and it is downloading under vlc.exe I'm not going to go through all my stuff just so you can see it just take my word for it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so let's wait for this file to download and um, yeah you could do things like add a list box and tell it like at the end once it's downloaded to add the file to the list box and then you can save it to a text file I suppose that way every time you load the program up it'll um, show in the list box um, I'm not going to get into that to now because this video is probably already long enough as it is and there's lots of sound I came out here to the porch to make this video and um, I got the idea, I was reading one of the forums that someone was asking about it, and so, yeah, there's lots of noises, and the mosquitoes are actually starting to bite me now, so, it's all happening, and it's only 8 o'clock, so, just wait for it to download, I probably should have told it that once it is finished downloading, to change the, um, the top title bar here, 
obviously you just go in here me.txt equals and then just name whatever you want to name it so that's going to remain the same but the text boxes and that should be enabled and be put back to the original text and the progress bar should also uh, show a value of nothing now the reason why you would use this method over the one that most people use which is the um, sort of my computer you know dot network dot download is because you can get the progress bar there like there probably is a way you could do it with the other method too but this is just the way I know it's just the way I could be thought of before making this video so anyway guys if you like this video please rate comment subscribe for more and I shall see you in the next one